welcome to my channel um, today I'm doing a review of the campground which is called Wilderness Lake Lakes in California Manifee town and see as I just approached the canal <laughs> birds are coming to me so the campground is in a beautiful way you can in a beautiful place you can see mountains around there and uh, this place is situated not on the lakes but there's there are canals full of birds there's actually a bird sanctuary here and uh, we're supposed to be nice to the birds <laughs> and uh, they really don't are not afraid of people they come over they want you want to join you if you are having a lunch so it's pretty nice neighborhood our camper is right here by the canal we chose this place uh, if you don't like too many birds you might choose another place a little bit far away from the canal but we really don't mind them they're really cute and they there are so many species I can't see many of them right now so it's really cute right there uh, by the canal you can see uh, a store uh, it's open up to 3 p.m. except Tuesdays and Wednesdays I think at least at w in winter I think it's a low season in winter so and it's kind of have some uh, most necessities you can look for it's kind of good as you can see the sides are quite big this is the big big territory between the campers and uh, it's a first comfort serve so when you come in you just choose the site you want you can go around the campground choose the one you like most and it's yours the propane filling station they serve propane 9 to 10 a.m. or 2 to 3 p.m. daily and the price is $2.90 per gallon which is a good price this is the main activity place uh, there's the lodge where they have a cafe in there and also this is the pool and uh, more one of the pools um, and the jacuzzi uh, which this pool is not open at winter right now uh, they see they say use another pool it's on maintenance but I think it's just because it's winter and it's a low season and it's not often used so they're just using one pool uh, in other times I've heard that the other pool is the adult pool and this is a family pool and now everyone is allowed to just to the adult pool see they have a game night this weekend sometimes they have movie nights and stuff uh, in the lodge you can just hang out it's all open up until 10 p.m. and you can hang out there and there's also an activity center uh, office and you can um, check out some books in there like uh, like I did right now for the my girl but there are also adult books and you can check out also check out uh, some board games A small arcade room, we have pool and ice hockey rink and of course the machines and some of these. And they are, there are also several uh, soft drink machines here, the drink is a dollar each. Well, this is the map of the campground, uh, it's quite big. So you see there's South Pool and North Pool, one of them is open, one of them is not. The North Pool is working right now. The dumpster situation is actually good. There are a lot of dumpsters all over the place. It's not hard to approach <coughs> one of them. And there's uh, the recycling containers everywhere as well. A small playground. There are two of them in the park, but there is a little bit further away. There's also a glacier machine available, 35 cents per gallon. 
of fresh water. That's a funny view. Not unusual though. They inside. There are only four machines and six dryers. And I have to admit it's too small. I'm not, I don't know about another one. Uh, there's more, there are more laundry, laundry rooms in the campground. Uh, but this is always so busy, you have to actually hunt the machines and sometimes wait because it's hard to find them available as many as you need. It's too crowded. And um, there's the ironing board with an iron also you can use. Uh, $2 per washer and $1.50 per dryer. They work well, do their job, no, no, uh, don't have anything bad to say about them except they're too crowded. Also, you can use a special web, uh, app you can, to pay. You can um, have this app downloaded to your phone, it's free, and you can just probably put your card information and just uh, start the machine using your app so you don't need any waters or credit cards or special cards or anything. There's some activities here uh, happening. There's um, aqua aerobics and other stuff happening. There's some crafts and uh, they have a working out room. Well, I ha I'll have to go check it out. Here by this door, well, they also sell dipping dots. Uh, there's some picnic tables. It's like a little terrace and uh, with a nice view to the canal. With all the birds. <coughs> it's really pretty here. A little peak in this part. There are swimsuits and stuff and camping gear. And over there, there there's food. The swimming pool and the whirlpool. I don't want to disturb people filming. Uh, the pool is heated and really nice. It's not so cold. <laughs> More geese. The birds are everywhere. All the sports equipment is good as well. This is all renewed and there are tennis courts over there they look in really good condition there's also an adult billiards room which has four big billiard tables only adults are allowed and see they have tournaments and everything a big spacious room I don't want to go inside right now since the gentlemen are playing there's a lot of activities and sports equipment this is a basketball uh, field and there was also a volleyball field on another side it's really good there's a lot of stuff you can do here uh, <coughs> this is a bathhouse they're all coded have uh, lock locks on them and the codes change every month i think so let's go in and see the little changing room. It's okay, it's all clean. It's very warm inside. So it's quite good. And there's a workout room. There are four cardio machines. It's quite spacious and big for a campground. Two uh, sophisticated machines, which I don't understand. <laughs> and, no, three, there are three, right? It's not, not so bad, right? And 
four more cardio running things. So quite good, I would say, for a 2 geo campground. Oh, look, they even have scales. Cool. Some important information. Um, cell signal is fine. There are no issues with cell signal or Wi-Fi here. We have AT&T and it works well and I haven't heard that anybody would have problems. Uh, on Saturdays they have a lot of activities. Uh, there's a bingo, then uh, a gift, kids craft every Saturday and after that there's a train ride it, which is just a quarter per person. So I think that's it. If you have any questions I could answer them in the comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys find this review helpful. Please subscribe to our channel and see you later. Bye.